<laughs> right, so make sure you don't sit on the wet bit because it's raining today, isn't it? Well, sit sit your bum there. That's okay. <laughs> right, so me and Poppy have got a job to do today, haven't Ooh, we? Wait, what? I got a giant chestnut. Oh, it's autumn and the chestnuts are falling, aren't they? Look how giant is this! <laughs> So we are at our house and we um, are about to fix another problem. This time it's a problem with the toilet. toilet. And this has actually happened once before where the flush stopped working and it actually um, burnt a fuse out and then uh, I managed to fish out the old pump, repair it, put it back in and it worked. But guess what, we're just about to go on our big road trip. We fixed the... the castle! Where? That's supposed to be a surprise. We're going to tell them at the end. <laughs> and uh, You're joking. No, I'm not. We haven't told anyone yet. Where are we going? So we're doing an announcement at the end. <laughs> Is that all right? Anyway, um, we fixed the battery charging problem, but now we have a toilet flush problem. The, the same problem with the pumps cropped up again. So we're going to fix yeah. that. Mm. What I did last time is I uh, put a spare, which I got off the internet, is not a Thetford part, it's just a, a lot cheaper one which came off the internet which I've put in on uh, uh, in the store, if you like, in case this happened. Daddy. I haven't got time to order one. <laughs> so, therefore, we're going to try and fix, uh, either fix that one or and or install this one. So let's see how we get on. There we go. So Poppy is going to be the camera girl, aren't you? Right, I'll pass you the camera and make sure you don't put your fingers in front of the lens like that. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, by the way, you're, you're uh, showing a piece of your back. Am I? Yeah. Sorry. Right. And you got a bum crack. I've got my bum crack. Right. Don't look at that, everyone. Right, there is a, uh, a Chinese equivalent that I got off the internet. And I hope that that is going to solve our problems. So there's the, uh, the the replacement pump for the Thetford toilet, and it's actually only because I've done this before I know that it's quite easy. It's quite easy to get access to this. First time you're doing this, though, you might not even realise how to get to it. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. So we've got this additional lid which goes over the toilet, which uh, we have done another video on us purchasing and installing that, which has made a massive difference. If you have a Nugget Plus, I really recommend you either get this solution or one similar to it, because it really makes for a, a superb bit of extra space, storage, uh, preparation space, or even a little seat in the back while you're getting dressed or whatever. So uh, it's very, very good indeed. So. Um, First of all, we're going to take this off and this off. Put that neatly there. Okay, and you can see in here there is a wire or two wires which run to a fuse for the pump. Now, the fuse at the moment is okay because uh, you can hear the pump trying to work as I do that. Chestnut's gone through there. I'll come and get it. Have you found your chestnut? Yeah. Good. Right, so Poppy's camera girl again. Okay. <laughs> Hold it steady. Right, so it looks like how on earth do you get this off? Well, all you do is you remove that literally it just pulls out and i believe all these that's bits weird. and pieces that's yeah. really weird i know but it actually makes it good to clean it as well if you want to clean oh. it okay um and there are four screws across the back here let me just show the four screws the four screws okay. one two three four okay the toilet's a little bit dirty, so we don't want to go too close up. All right, we need, that's another one of my jobs before we go. First of all, I want to fix this. Um, so you take those four screws out. And you then, don't want to drop your phone in the toilet. I don't want to do that, but you're holding it, so I'm not going to do that. And then, once you've done that, um, this all just comes away. So it's actually very easy to remove. Mm -hmm. But for this job, you don't need to remove the whole toilet. So everything just pushes or 
pulls off. So that's the flush. Okay. That's really weird. And then this section here, you put your fingers around it and you pull this bit off. Like that. He's trying to get it off. There we go. There's a little circuit board underneath there oh, and the wires. Nice. To make it flush. And this is what the flush works off. So there's the circuit board. Do I still have to be video now? No, it's okay. All right. And now you can see there's like a kidney shaped bowl in here, which is this thing. Okay. And that just pulls out as well. And the water is below here. So everything below there is uh, water. So that's why that seals there. But it's actually uh, quite easy then to remove this, which I'm going to do. I if I can do it one handed. Yep. So, so now there's the, the kidney bowl just coming out. There's a little seal around that. And there is the tank, okay? And that's just the fresh water tank. Now, if you pull on this, I don't know why it's so dirty because it should just be fresh water. It, just over time, it just does get a little bit dirty. So you see here, there's a, um, like a connector and you can pull this up like so. And then that, can, that means you can release the wires which are attached to the pump. So I'm just going to remove the brown and the blue out of this connector. So that is the power lead for the pump. And you can see inside there. So there is the pump. I've just fished that out of here. The other end of this obviously goes to the spout here. So now that's out. What is in this bag is a replacement pump. Um, so we're going to, uh, because this one's let me down now twice, and this is a Thetford 21944, maybe. I don't know what the part number is, but that's what it looks like. So we're going to now remove uh, the clip and take this pipe off, get the new pump out and install it. Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, I know. It was already raining. Okay, so got some tools. And I know every video in the toilet. Now. Yeah, I know. This is the the replacement pump. So we've got to hope all this uh, uh, the diameter of this I think is correct. So that is what we're going to change for that. Okay. And that's just one I got off Amazon. Daddy, it was about the different. One... The different. Why the different? Because uh, there's a little grey bit. Yeah, that one's blue and this one's grey. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the other difference. You know what the other difference is? What? The other difference is about three times the price. So that one is ridiculous, about seventy euros, and this one is, you know, like twenty, twenty-five euros. Mm. So. That is uh, a big saving. If they're going to keep failing, I thought I may as well just go for this uh, Chinese one and see. I mean, I don't know if it's going to pump as well. Or go and hide your screen. It might sound different. I don't know. We'll find out. So now look, I'm just going to unclip that one. Oh. This one should just twist off, which it does. Oh. I'm going to pull that through off the kidney bowl. Push this one back through. I'm doing a little close up here. That pet fits perfectly, it's the same size cable. Now, that, push fit back on there. We're gonna get a little cable tie and do the same with this, to cable the ties, the two together. So I've cut the cable down so it's the same, same length as the one that came with the pet foot. Because uh, you don't want the cable wrapping up underneath here and getting in the way of the circuit board. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. that one, that goes on there. So it's something you're going to have to check. If the uh, you install the new pump or you repair the old one and it's still not working, you need to check out to see if the fuse has blown. And I'll show you where the fuse is now. So remove the cassette. And... Look inside here, and there 
is the fuse. This little plastic thing here does come out, so you can pull that out to allow you easier access because it is quite deep into here. And uh, you can then check that that fuse is still uh, made or maybe take a picture of it uh, and then see. So, it, of course, uh, that could be another reason why your pump's not working. Okay, so just testing. There you go, it's working. So just in the process now of reinstalling the, uh, the lid here. So something that's worth mentioning at this stage is, yes, together with these four screws there to remove it, um, if you remove the drip tray covers from inside here, you'll see there are two other screws. They need to come out as well, because that's what holds it uh, firmly to the, uh, the sort of floor of the van. So there's only six screws. Um, now, you might have to remove these if, um, for example, your water in here gets a bit too dirty. At the moment, I'm wondering why my pump keeps fouling. And if I looked in there, well, the water is a bit dirty, I suppose, over time. It's not actually that old. The van's only 18 months old. We have used it quite a lot. We've been putting water in from lots of different campsites. Um, so it could be that, you know, it's a little bit dirty in there. To clean that out, and I have done it once before already, you do have to remove those screws, but it's very easy. The whole thing comes out as one unit then, and then you can take it to your uh, garden hose or whatever, and they give it a good rinse out from the inside. Um, and then, of course, you could remove what I've just shown you there, and then that's where you can tip all the water out from. So it's not too bad to do that. It'll take you a, an hour or so, maybe a bit longer. Uh, but then it gives your toilet a good sort of service and clean as well. Okay, so... Let's give it a test. No. Listen. That even sounds better than the Thetford one. Thetford one's quite noisy. That one sounds a little bit more refined as toilet pumps go. So now I'm just going to clean it up, put the toilet back together again, and it all just presses back in the way it came out. So. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see some more, please like and subscribe. More videos coming fairly regularly and uh, particularly videos of our trips and adventures. Poppy, my camera girl, has uh, got a bit bored for some reason of filming a toilet, so she's gone off to play with more chestnuts in the garden. But please look out for our videos coming soon, including our trip to Disneyland Paris and what it's like to camp there.